Ok, për shëndetje miqë, pas pak fillojmë takimin me Alsej Gjamfi, është drejtori burime njërzore të kë Metavers, Facebooku, edhe jam shumë i lumëtur që a i pranoj ftesën time, dhe jam shumë i lumëtur që a i është mes nesh edhe kanarë për gëgja pytje, kanarë për gëgja pytje për atë, dhjetë Facebooku është Mark Zuckenbergu, është gëgja lartë dhe gëgja i rëndësishën botën e biznesit botëror, social media është ajo që në edhe në ndikon të këblerje, të cilja konsumatorje, të këmendime, të këtjerat, edhe është gëgja e thellë, edhe besoj që të ashtë të digjohem shumë mirë, më së kemi më probleme. Klaudio, më digjohem, jam mirë. Po, më digjohem. O thejnë, unë e kam takuar në një nga këto fjallimet TEDx, TEDx Talk, edhe jam habitur nga mënyra se si a i punon, edhe se si ata e përzjedhin skuadrën, edhe se si ata kanë mendimin për punën, edhe për në që ratë në përgjithsi. Ja t'i bëjmë një ftes këti tani. Asin. Ok. Helg, Asin is is on cloud. Oh, hello, man. Hello, man. Hey, what's up, man? How you doing? How are you? Good? I'm well, I'm well. Ah, that's perfect. What time is it now there? Ah, lunchtime. It's 12 o'clock. Ah, it's 12 o'clock, okay, now, yeah. here, is, here is night, <laughs> here it is, uh... <laughs> so, <laughs> very good, uh, you, uh, where are you, in office now? Uh, no, you, actually, you are... I'm working from home today, so uh, uh, I'm in my living room, yep. Oh, oh good, that's good, 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 hey, thank you, thank you, thank you for coming, and uh, we are so honored to, to see you. Of course, you. of course. Uh, uh, first question is, uh, how are you, and how is Metaverse going? <laughs> uh, so far, so good. Uh, we just had uh, uh, MetaConnect where we uh, unveiled a new headset that we're coming out with in uh, uh, in like that October, November time frame, just in time for the holidays. So everyone, go ahead and check that out. Um, you know, some uh, some new content, new partnerships that we've uh, we've kind of put together. So uh, it's exciting time. Um, you know, we're just at a point now where we're uh, uh, taking a look at what we need to do for next year. Um, putting all that together uh, and uh, and going from there. And uh, what about some news that we we heard about uh, metaverse that uh, fire some people or I don't know. Um, you know, true? it's uh, yeah. I mean, <laughs> it's it it's, uh, it's a crazy time right now in tech where there's a lot of um, you know because of the macroeconomic issues. There's a lot of contraction that's happening, um, and so you know uh, it's. Some of this stuff is is, uh, is public, so of course you can you can you know look that up. But they definitely had a situation where they had to retool some programs and make sure that they're doing things that are closer to uh, to you know what the what the goals and the uh, the direction of the company is. Um, we're definitely still moving and chugging along, um, which is uh, you know the good news. Um, it's just you know there were some programs that we might not be able to uh, be that aggressive with. Um, and so, uh, so that's kind of why you see a lot of buzzing in the news, and everyone speculates about what that might mean and all that kind of stuff. But you know, mm. we're uh, we're still moving along, trudging along, and trying to make things happen. So, Mark is good, and uh, we are <laughs> <laughs> we are safe. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, we have uh, we like I said, we have new programs, new products that we're coming out with, mm. and definitely an exciting time for uh, for some of the things we're trying to do. Mm, that's cool. Oh, Arta, Arta Zetiri. You, <laughs> you Arta, remember you? Arta? Hi, Arta. <laughs> uh, this is uh, and um, so uh, Facebook is going well, and uh, soon we we have a Metaverse uh, very soon. Huh? Uh, it's actually already there. So if you have uh, uh, if you have your Oculus headset, you can go into Horizon Worlds. You can go into um, Horizon venues, see concerts. Uh, you know, there's certain games where, for instance, if you had a concerts? headset and you wanted to play poker, we could play poker together in a room with people from all around the world. Uh, I've done that a lot. Um, oh, really? It's a uh, yeah. It's 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 really cool. Uh, if, if if you know people haven't used a a VR headset or, you know, gone into what they, what they coin as a metaverse. I definitely suggest doing that. Um, it's a different kind of experience, very immersive. Um, uh, you know, it's, we could be in a room putting together a puzzle or something and 
you be, you know, uh, in, uh, in Macedonia and I'll be in Los Angeles and I feel like you're in the room with me. So uh, it's, it's definitely really cool. Yeah, and uh, a lot of people there because we have some news that Metaverse is not going well or uh, it's uh, 60, uh, 67% is uh, going down and uh, my, yeah. uh, there are uh, fake news. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's funny because um, I always tell the people, uh, you'll scroll through Facebook and you'll see articles about people trying to talk smack or speculate about Facebook on Facebook, right? Like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it's, it's yeah. a funny thing, um, you know, uh, but, uh, but that's just kind of the way the world works. We keep a lot of the, the stuff that happens internally close to the chest, mm. so we don't necessarily kind of put it out there, but, you know, we're in a position, like I said before, where we have a new headset coming out, we have new partnerships. A lot that's of the cool. world sees I, the applications, uh, and right. so uh, they're starting to Uh, you know, we're starting to basically continuously grow. Everyone keeps saying it's going down, but really it's, it's, it's a kind of in a more of a growth phase and it is a going down phase. Usually mm. you go down when you've reached a peak. We haven't even reached our peak yet. Mm. So it's, uh, it's not depend from uh, the war of Ukraine or something like this. It's not Russia. No, no, no. I mean, not, not that I know of, um, You know, not, not like uh, for for our for our product mix, there's a lot of things that are involved in terms of um, you know what the success of the of the uh, the company is. Um, but you know, for the most part, for us, it's not. There's no direct tie to anything in terms of yep, you know where things are going. It's 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 all dependent on on really macroeconomics. Um, and, yeah, uh, and and you know where where uh, where the the country is going from there. In Russia, you have a lot of customer, I think. Yeah, you yeah. But, it. I mean, had you know, Russia. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's not. <laughs> it's, you know, it's it's, it's not. Uh, from from when you when you think of it, um, there's so many products, whether it be WhatsApp, whether it be you know uh, Instagram, uh, whether it be so Facebook the market... stories, the, the glasses. Um, that it's uh, you know it's there's not one. There's so many different product lines under the umbrella that not one thing can affect the business that majorly mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah 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 so uh till now mark zuckerberg is still uh 10 uh, people richest in the world huh? so we are good <laughs> in, uh, <laughs> depend on forbes <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> because we are so anxious yeah. about mark how is going <laughs> all our businesses uh, are related with instagram and social media and uh, uh one or uh, one day maybe one hour or two hours uh, uh, the system yeah. go down and oh, yes, people yeah, will yeah. rule <laughs> <laughs> a lot of problems, a lot of uh, failure in business. Uh, yeah. I am a trainer, a sales trainer, and I teach people and I, I want to, to do something in, in Metaverse, uh, mm -hmm. like uh, the concerts there, and people say, here in Albania, ah, it's a bit, uh, you are so early. In Albania, maybe five or six uh, <laughs> years. Yes, yeah, so good. Now it's very early, but no, I, I will think about it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Hey, uh, Jose, uh, from uh, this, uh, this uh, TEDx talk that we were in Macedonia, mm -hmm. North Macedonia, yeah. you were the best guy in a relationship and you are so funny, <laughs> so cool, and la, la, la. And when I say from Metaverse, oh, really? Oh, oh. <laughs> humor resources, no, this is a serious guy in contract, la, la, la. But no, <laughs> you were different. And uh, I was asking some, uh, some uh, questions that I need from your profession. First yeah. is, in your opinion, what is the dream work what does it mean in your opinion dream work this is um, the topic so, <laughs> yeah the... and i i know it sounds uh it sounds what you know uh how you say it like um cliche or uh yeah yeah you know, but uh but but really it's uh it comes down to if you watch my my uh ted talk i speak about this um the your dream job will fit your personality as well as uh the as well it'll fit your personality as well as the industry that you're interested in right so you yeah. want to be in an in a environment that you're comfortable in doing what you're comfortable doing um so for me uh recruiting is a big um a big plus because i enjoy working with people 
And like I said in my in my TED talk, I, I enjoy working in technology. I like gadgets, right? So like I've done a lot of engineering recruiting because of that, especially when it comes to companies that do consumer products, companies that do uh, automotive companies that, you know, are making innovative products there. Um, that's kind of what my drive is. So for me, I don't feel like I'm working. I feel like I'm doing what I want to do. So that's mm. really the way that I define a dream job is it's an environment that you want to be in doing an activity you want to be in. One of the things that I tell people to do whenever they're looking at what profession to get into um, is to do their uh, Myers-Briggs personalities test. I don't know if you heard of this before. Mm. Myers-Briggs. So yeah, so if you go, uh. if you go to, um, uh, it's, it basically maps out 16 different personalities whether you're an introvert or an extrovert, right? So outgoing or you're reserved. Yeah, uh, yeah. Are you judgmental or are you, are you understanding? Are you, um, you know, good with people? Are you not good with people? Are you good with numbers? Are you good with art? It kind of yeah. defines your, what your personality is. Yeah, uh, and art. from mm -hmm. there, um, you'd be able to figure out, all right, these are the kind of professions that I want to be able to be in, right? Because then you're more comfortable. And how can I, how can I uh, learn this? How can I uh, so if you, discover? If you, if you Google Myers-Briggs. Um, Myers-Briggs, huh? Myers yeah, Briggs. so uh, M-E-Y-E-R-S okay. and then space uh, B-R-I-G-G-S. Uh, you'll be able to find free personality. It's free. You just take the test. They ask you some questions. Oh. I say take it about two or three times to make sure that, you know, you're mm. getting the right. It's about 15 minutes. Take it about two or three times <laughs> and they'll tell you kind of what your personality is, what your traits are, how you work well with people, how you don't work well with people. It gives you a little mm. bit of insight and it's uh, it's coming from your answers. So it's really about you. Um, yeah. yeah. Manny posted it. 16 personalities.com. Thank you, Manny. Shout out to Manny. <laughs> Um, yeah. But yeah, oh, but that's, no, it's good. Uh -huh. yeah. So that's uh, that's a that's actually a great link. It's free. You get a lot of amazing information, um, and you'd be able to kind of find out a little bit more about yourself and where you would feel most comfortable being. So that's really one of the things that I I, um, I subscribe to. Um, I think that everyone should be able to find out who they are, what they're interested in, and how they work well with others. And then it helps you to kind of navigate what type of role that you need. Um, the other thing you want to you want to take a look at is what industry are you interested in? What what excites you? Do you like uh, do you like movies? Do you like boxing? Do you like, uh, you know, uh, uh, gadgets and engineering? And then you want to find a profession that matches your personality in that type of industry. Um, and then, of course, you want to be able to trade on some of the skills that you have already. So if you're looking to get into a sales role, but you've always worked let's say, you know, as a cashier at a restaurant or, you know, you were a waiter somewhere. There's a lot of customer service there. So you want to be able to talk about, okay, well, you know, as I was a waiter, I was, you know, dealing with customers. This is how I dealt with hard situations. This is, you know, what I did in order to overcome that. Therefore, I think I'd be really, really good at automotive sales, right? Like it kind hmm. of transfers over. Um, I actually have a really good friend who, uh, who did that once. Uh, they were working at a at a server um, at kind of like a restaurant club area and took that, those skills and started working at a, uh, at a automotive dealership selling cars. So you can be in one industry, but take those same skills, apply it someplace else and be very successful. Um, hey, so, uh, sorry, man. Uh, this yeah. is, no uh, sorry, you know how I do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is uh, too, too much, uh... Uh, uh, not original because it's uh, something that is written in the books and uh, I don't feel that you are talking true because uh, uh, for example I, I want to be an artist I want to okay. be a uh, 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 1000 million uh, dollar salary per month <laughs> but, okay. Uh, <laughs> okay, now, but, but now, now here's the question though here, I, ca I cannot find it I cannot okay, find but, it but, but, but here's the question <laughs> Do you want to be an artist or do you want to be a rich artist? Uh, a rich artist, yes. <laughs> rich artist. Okay, then what you would have to do is make sure you're the best artist in the world because that's the next piece of it. So anyone can be an artist, right? Meaning if your passion is art, if your passion, if your true passion is art and you are actually supposed to be an artist, right? Like if you do your Myers-Briggs, it says one of the things of your, of your personality 
is an artist. Yeah. Then it's up to you to work hard to be an amazing artist because there's a difference between making a lot of money doing what you do and doing what you want to do. In order to make a lot of money, you have to be one of the best. In order to, have to be one of the best, you have to work. Right? You have to put in a lot of work. You have to put in a lot of training. You have to be better than everyone else because there's a lot of people who want to be artists. Yes, so but I cannot, be... I cannot, uh, cannot follow my, my dream because mm -hmm. I, I have to pay my bills. I have to pay okay. to rent. The, and so what to do? I have to do okay. the cashier. I have to do the waiter of the bar because mm -hmm. I need to pay my rent. So what to do? <laughs> my, then, personality, then, 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 no. my personality quiz is <laughs> you are an artist. <laughs> well, well, that's, well that's, but that's the thing though, right? So if, and, and, and going back to what I was telling you, it's uh, that I, I have, I know people who have done this. So there are people who worked as um, an art, uh, as a, a waiter, a server, and then at, at night, but during the day they were going to school for what they really wanted to do, mm. right? Um, and so they put in the work. That's part of the work, right? So there's some people who started a business, um, do a tech business or, uh, you know, a business doing some kind of like real estate brokerage, but their main job was a receptionist. So they would find the time to be able to say, while I'm doing this during the day, if I really want to be successful at this particular role in this job, in this field, I have to put in the time during the day to pay my bills into the uh and use that to be able to, to train and practice to be good at this other field um so i'll i'll give you uh, uh an example from a book uh art of the start by a person named guy kawasaki one thing he said is he said if you are going to achieve any dream what you want to be able to do is monetize the skills you have currently in a way to pay for that dream to start Uh, everyone that you see who's kind of a self-made person who says, that, oh, you know, I'm, I'm a big man with a, a company doing, you know, even if it's a mid-sized company, all those people had to work some kind of a job to fund their passion to then get to where they are, right? Very few mm. people just wake up and say, I'm an amazing artist because I, it was bestowed on me, right? <laughs> yeah, you know, we have a lot of. <laughs> yeah, like, and, and go, going, going to, to your point, especially like, uh, I know someone who um, is an amazing artist, sells pieces for $10,000, $20,000. The way they got their start was by driving um, rideshare cabs, right? Driving Lyft and Uber. And what they mm. did was they would make money doing that during the day or what times when they could and the rest yeah. of the time they spent money on their art supplies on their rent right their food their rent uh, anything extra was art supplies maybe they didn't party as much right maybe they didn't go out as much they didn't go out to the mood because they were saving their money for their dream that's the thing about achieving dreams is and getting to where you want to go is that there's a sacrifice that's put in there So save the money for the dream job, huh? This is mm -hmm. good. One. Ah, yeah. Good. Uh, and, and, so, uh, so and uh, <laughs> it's funny because in my in my TED talk, I mentioned this. I said that you know when someone looks at someone like uh like you know some of the uh, basketball players in the NBA, right? Uh, mm -hmm. You know they're big and dunking and doing and shooting and and the amount of time it put it took to to get them to where they could be able to do that. A lot of those people, when you know with They, they didn't come from families where they were able to just sit back and play basketball all day and the food was set. They had to work also. Um, you mm. know, the, their, their parents had two jobs, right? Like, these are people who sometimes they had to work very hard in the background and in the foreground. So if you're not working your day job, right, then you're moving on and you're working on your craft. Boxers have that story a lot where they say, you know, during the day, They were doing some kind of, you know, job, but then at night they were working on the craft. Um, Kurt Warner uh, for American uh, American football. He yeah. was uh, stock, yeah, he was stocking shelves. He was working in a grocery store, but at night he mm. was practicing, and he ended up being MVP. Wow. So wow. you know, it's it's it, that that's the thing. If if it was easy, everyone would do it. But you have to find the profession in the industry that'll make you want to do it. If that makes sense. That's 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 pretty cool. It's pretty awesome. Uh, this uh, 
this kind of uh, interpretation that you had. So this is good. Uh, yeah. In order to have my uh, my uh, dream work, first I have to do this uh, personality quiz. Huh? Mm -hmm. Then uh, I will find uh, what industry uh, mm -hmm. I'm excited. And then to save money for the dream job. Yeah? Yes. Because save money for the training to do the dream job. Yep. And save money for the training. Yes, this is good. For the training because you have to, because again, if you want to be the one million dollar artist. Yes. <laughs> you have to train doing art, right? You, get, <laughs> <laughs> you know, you, you have to, you have to, you have to, you have to work. So it's, 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 it's a, it's a lot. But the thing is, when you get there, you, you'll, you'll be happy you did it. Right. Um, mm -hmm. How many times have you heard of things like, uh, for instance, um, you know, uh, writers or directors or, or famous people, then they mm. say, oh, you know, once they were homeless, mm. right? Mm. Now, here's the thing. Once they were homeless, so they had to do something to put themselves in a position to succeed. And when they were homeless at that time, they didn't know they were going to be a millionaire later. They had no idea. But what the thing that drove them was they had uh, they had a dream. They knew that they had an industry they wanted to get into, and they were mm -hmm. willing to work. But mm -hmm. you know that's that's the difference. The difference mm -hmm. between people who are successful and the ones who don't is: are they willing to work? Do they have the right dream? Uh, the right dream. Sometimes just going back to what you said, like for instance, if I said I want to be in the NBA. Look, it's not, <laughs> you know, I want to be. I want to be Premier League MVP. It's not going to happen. <laughs> right? So, so you right. have to find the right dream. Huh? You have to find the right dream. The dream, right. <laughs> the thing that fits you. But once, but once you find it, then you'll know. And then you'll go for it. Because mm -hmm. it'll be achievable. It'll, it'll feel right. It'll match your personality. And all you have to do is just put in the dedication and put in the work. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the dream job is not the, the job that uh, is more uh, paid, more incomes, that brings you yes. more incomes. It's well, that's the this. thing, is, is that when but, you do yeah. what you love, you, you, you are confident. And when you're confident, you perform well. When you perform well, mm -hmm. you get money. That's what Deion Sanders says. I'm not sure how familiar Albania is with Deion Sanders, but... Uh, Deion Sanders Deion says, Sanders? You, mm -hmm. yeah, he's a, he's an American football player, but he says, if, uh, if you look good, you feel good. If you feel good, you play good. If you play good, they pay good. <laughs> right? uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, you know, be someplace where you, you feel, you feel comfortable, you know, embrace it, be in it, be confident, work hard. You'll mm -hmm. get paid. That's cool. That's cool. That's perfect. Uh, one of my trainers uh, is is uh, very popular uh, for here in Albania. Uh, he is. Uh, he said. Uh, he says that you have to follow the passion, but you have to follow the passion. But you have to find someone to pay for your passion. passion. <laughs> <laughs> because, because in general it's, it's from US uh, uh, yeah. uh, uh, people love uh, doing what you love uh, uh, your, find your uh, follow your dreams, follow your passion but you have to find someone to pay you know? <laughs> if you don't find someone to pay for your dream or your passion <laughs> this is not passion but, Go so that, that's, that's, that's the thing for, for, for some folks they might be able to find someone who can you know uh, what I call like a support system, uh, you know, people who are willing and able to, you know, help you in, at certain times, you know, if, uh, if you don't have a car, but you have to get somewhere, is someone willing to give you a ride so that you can meet your dream, right? Mm -hmm. um, there's a, uh, there's a story um, about uh, a comedian, Steve Harvey. Are you familiar? Yeah, Steve Harvey. Okay, yeah. so, so Steve Harvey, when uh, at one point in time, he was homeless. Steve Harvey or T. Harv Ecker? Uh, Steve Harvey. Uh, he's an American comedian. Um, ah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. yeah. And, uh, and where, the way he got his, uh, his start um, was he actually, at one point in time, was homeless, but believed in his craft. He believed in what he did. Like, when he went to do comedy shows, people laughed, right? So he knew he was good at what he did. He was what he wanted to do. 
Um, and there was a uh, there was a uh, family that wanted to help him get to where he was, make him help him achieve his dreams. So when he was homeless, they actually let him stay on the sofa in their house. So they said, you know, come in, you live with us, do your thing, right? Like so, you know, they, but they believed in him. Um, and he had a show because he used to have a um, a talk show, and this uh, this they surprised him, you know, like kind of like a hey Steve, this you know this is your life kind of thing, and they surprised him by inviting that family onto the show, um, and he cried, like he he cried because he said without these people I wouldn't be here, so that's the other piece of it, right? It's like you have to have a good support network, and that means sometimes finding people who think the way you do, finding people that believe in you. Because when things get hard, you're going to want someone to say, hey, how can I help? What can I do? You know, even if it's just an ear to listen, um, if it's someone who can, you know, help you get to a certain location, if you're doing something where there might be an audience, who can come into the audience and cheer for you to get everyone else to start cheering too, right? Like, mm -hmm. you want to be able to find people who believe in you and what you're trying to do. Um, and a lot of times it'll line up like you'll believe in that person and what they're trying to do. Um, and that's what you call the true friend. I mean, that's a partnership. Uh, and once you have enough of those, you know, I, I call it, uh, you know, are you familiar with Robin Hood? Robin Hood, yes. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's the same thing. Robin Hood comes to back to the England. Poverty, yeah. Yeah, yeah, he comes back to England and he meets Friar Tuck and he meets Little John and he meets, right? These are all people who, when it comes down to it, help him to save the day, right? But he had to, mm -hmm. he had to literally fight Little John with a stick. Yeah. <laughs> but afterwards yeah. he said, oh, you're, you're good, okay, let's, you know, let's, let's get a drink. <laughs> let's drink. <laughs> and then they become best friends. It's the same thing. You, you wanna find people who, when things are hard, will help you. And when things are good, will get a beer with you. That's, mm. that's also very important um, when you try to achieve your dreams. And I talk about that in my, uh, my TED talk, right? What did I say? We're all ants. Mm -hmm. As long as we work mm -hmm. together, we'll, we'll succeed. But you have to find the people who are willing to work with you, right? Find your colony. Once you find so, your colony, you can do anything. You find a colony. So uh, it's not. Uh, it, it's wrong to think that uh, the dream work is. Uh, if I get paid, I have the dream work. No, it's not. It's not good. Uh, you you have to so. find people. You have to find the community, the the industry, mm -hmm. because uh, if they are. You can have the profit and the money and more incomes and everything. The, yes. the, the, the way that most people who are wealthy think, the money, mm -hmm. is, the money is a byproduct, right? The money like, is? The, the money is? Yeah, it could be the, the money byproduct? is... Byproduct? Yeah, it's a byproduct of success. You can't get mm. money unless you're successful. Even if... I'll give you an example, right? Uh, when I was uh, working in staffing sales, we were about to hire somebody. And I said, uh, I asked them, I said, what motivates you, right? To, to be a recruiter, to be a recruiter for my team. I said, what motivates you? And they said, uh, they said, money, I'm money motivated. Mm -hmm. And I said, okay, then uh, go be a criminal. Mm -hmm. if, you, if all you want is money, then just go, you know, go rob banks, right? Like, mm -hmm. there's, there's, there's money there, go, go get the money. Yes. Yes. Money motivates you, why, why are you not doing that, right? Uh -huh. Both of the the motivation should be something based on impact, something based on making a difference. Whenever you see these the, like big companies, they, they have a mission statement. The mission statement isn't make a lot of money. The mission mm -hmm. statement is usually, you know, make something easier, you know, improve the life in this way. And that's what everyone works towards. The money will come if you bring value because you have to remember money equals value, right? Mm -hmm. If you're not valuable, why is anyone going to pay you? Yeah. So, so, if you, yeah. so if you bring value, mm -hmm. the money will come. And I tell, and as a recruiter, I can tell you that's completely true. If I'm talking to someone and they say, "Look, I don't care about the job. I don't care about your company. I just want the money because that's what I came for." They're they're gonna they're not gonna help your company. They're not gonna grow, and they're gonna get fired. Uh, uh. It happens every time. <laughs> every time. <'Cause> they're not, <laughs> yeah. If they're not interested in what you're trying yeah. to do. They're not interested yeah. in the mission. Depend, depend from the depend from the situation because there are some trainers uh, mm -hmm. that say that uh, you have to to wake up in the morning and to ask yourself where are my money 
Where are my money? <laughs> <laughs> Who stole See, and my money? <laughs> and go and take your money. <laughs> right. And what, I, and what I would say is, when, and, I, and I actually do this, and I tell people to do this all the time. When you wake up in the morning, ask yourself, what am I doing and how is this going to end? Hmm. Right? Like, because mm. again, if, if what am I doing today? Today I'm making money. How am I going to make money by bringing value? Okay, cool. Or it could be, what am I doing today? I'm making money. I'm going to make money. I'm mm. robbing a bank. <laughs> 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Right? That's like, exactly. there's different ways of doing it. But like, when yeah. you wake up, like, if, if someone is purely money motivated, I can tell you now, if I, like, I don't want them near me. I don't want them near me because if you're purely money motivated, that means that you will stab people in the back. You'll do whatever you can for money. Mm -hmm. And people like that. So it's, to, it's not a good that's... motivation. Huh? It's not a good yeah, motivation. You're done. The, yeah. You know. uh, uh, Tony Robbins, uh, you know, Tony Robbins. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. What do you think about it? <laughs> oh, so. <laughs> it's it's okay. good. <laughs> this, is, this is my, this is my opinion. This is not, I'm not affiliating this with, anything of the company that I work uh, for. And that stuff. Uh, um, I, I think, I think Tony Robbins does a really, really good job of being a showman um, and letting people know like, you know, what is possible and how they can kind of move forward. But I, I also like, I, I don't think, I think if you need Tony Robbins to excite you to go, get through your day, that you, you have to really look at yourself and what it is that you're doing because no other human should have to motivate you to do the things that'll make your life great, right? Like, mm -hmm. I do believe that there are some people who want that kind of a push, but the way that Tony Robbins does it, I'm, I'm just, I'm not that, like, I don't know. For me, it, it, just, it just doesn't, it doesn't work yeah. that well. And I, and I know that a large piece of what he talks about is about being successful financially, right? Yeah. Um, Gran Cardone. Gran Cardone, you know? Yeah. Yeah, 10x rule. Yeah. And uh, uh, the power is in money and in, in value. Of course, in value, because yes. uh, value equals money. But mm -hmm. uh, uh, Gran Cardone, for example, is my mentor. I, I follow him and I, uh, yeah. I book uh, courses. So uh, some of the lessons is, is going uh, uh, useful here in Albania. So maybe it's good. No, so, and, and that's the thing, like I said before, there's, there's nothing wrong with, there's nothing wrong yeah. with money, right? Like yeah. money, like, <laughs> so you pay your bills. We are your in financial system. We are. Yeah, financial system, exactly. Uh, um, yeah. So, it, 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 for, but for, for me, I think when I say money is a byproduct, I always say like, um, it's difficult to make money if you have a bad attitude. It's difficult to make money if, um, you're not bringing sustainable value, right? Um, totally it's difficult. It's difficult to, I mean, you can make money, but it might not be, you have to be able to, here's a great example, right? You get a certain sense of value from your mentor, correct? Yeah, yeah. So the value you get from him yeah. is the mentorship. The yeah. mentorship and the, the training that you get, you then put into your own practice Yeah. And your practice brings value to other people. Yes. Exactly. And then with that value to other people comes money. Yeah. But you They can't change get the, the life. money. Yeah. You can't get the money without the value. Yes, yes, yes. Of course. All the yeah. mentors say this. And yeah. uh, uh, it's totally, yes. Uh, I, uh, I, uh, I have done a lot of uh, questions here, but uh, okay. <laughs> I, have, I, I saw that the, uh, with you, the, the, the time fly. <laughs> 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 maybe As always, have, man. <laughs> <laughs> maybe if you have some courses, mentorship, please uh, sell us one course <laughs> from you. <laughs> the, the cool guy. Uh, till now, you, you, you said the uh, Uh, very uh, useful information for how to have a dream job or for employers. But mm -hmm. now I want to uh, to ask uh, the question because uh, we don't have time for you because you have uh, uh, you have uh, uh, work uh, meetings. Uh, uh, what is the key? What is the key to find the perfect or the ideal employee? 
Oh, all so, the business owners have this problem. <laughs> yeah. yeah, talk about um, the business owner, please. Okay, so so and as as a as a someone who um, has you know have had a staff before, I obviously do recruiting, so I find employees, right? Like that's yeah. that's what my job is. Um, X factor, talented. Huh? Yes. Head, so, head shop. so there are there are really four or five things that employers look for. Um, people to be able to navigate through, right? So the first one, of course, if you're applying for a certain job is do you have the technical skills to actually do the job, right? So if you're a developer and they're looking, I'm, yeah, I'm... Right? No, the opposite, the opposite. The business the owner, opposite? yes, the, the business owner yeah. wants to hire the perfect yeah. employee. Yeah. Employer, the yeah. perfect. What does the business owner have to do in order to find it. Oh, in order to find them. Okay, so. Yeah, how okay. to find it, the talented, the. the okay, the... Uh, there's, a, there's a number of ways. So the first is, um, I always tell people to go through this checklist. So the first one is, who do you know who knows someone, right? Personal referrals are great. So for instance, if you, if you, if you, yeah, if you were looking for someone in LA to work for you on like a satellite operation, You could contact me and say, oh, say, I'm looking for someone who has this kind of background. Do you know anyone? And I can say, yeah, I do. Here's two people. Give them a call. Right. So that's one way because it's, it's, it's I'm introducing you. So that means that I kind of vouch for them. I know what they do. I understand they're good people. I feel comfortable bringing them to you. That's the best way to hire. The best way to hire is, you know, someone you trust who knows someone, you know, they trust and they're willing to bring them over to you. The second way, of course, is, you know, you put up a, um, uh, you put up a job posting and you allow the public to, to, to post, you know, to kind of post their, uh, post their resume, send them to you. You can review them and contact the people you want. Another big one is the schools. And that's why I say if you want to apply to your dream job, if your dream job has some kind of training or schooling that's attached to it, know your professors, know your, you know, the, the people who the administration at the school, because a lot of employers Um, will call the school, especially if they used to go to that school, they'll call mm. the school and say, who do you know, professor? Mm. Who do you know, uh, president of the school? Then they might be like, oh, you know, we know Ose. Ose is great. Let me get you his information. So you want to, you know, that, that's another way that, that we, we like, that's one of the ways I recruit, to be honest with you. Um, uh, the other thing, of course, is, and I always tell this to people, if you're looking for a new job, I don't care what it is, you have to put up a LinkedIn profile, mm. right? A LinkedIn profile, because right now, LinkedIn is the primary way that a lot of companies are searching for talent. Um, you know, they, they can see what groups you're a part of. They can see what your job history was, what schooling you have, what skills you can put in your skills. Um, the, the general location, maybe city or country or where you stay. So that way they know if you're local or if you're, you know, uh, far away. Um, the LinkedIn is, is a, a great way to be able to, uh, have people notice you. And also there are job postings on LinkedIn. So you can also apply to the jobs directly from your profile. So you don't have to upload a resume or do anything like that. As long as your LinkedIn is full, then, uh, then you should be, uh, you should be good to go. Um, and then, uh, and then the, of course, you know, the, the other, the other way that, uh, that employers find people is networking. Um, you know, if you're looking for electrical engineers uh, or you're looking for project managers, you know, go to some events where they might be and just say, hey, look, I'm, you know, I'm looking to hire people. Tell me a little bit about yourself. Um, you know, put yourself out there so that you're you're able to uh, to have people recognize and notice you. So I think those are like the top ways if you're an employer, if you're looking to hire some people. Of course, there's also outside agencies, right? You can find um, an independent recruiter and pay them a fee to be able to find you the right people. Um, it's a little bit expensive. Some, a lot of companies do it though. Uh, it's a big industry, mm -hmm. but you know, it's uh, I think there are a lot of, a lot of steps before you get to that point. So you don't mm -hmm. necessarily have to just jump to that. Mm -hmm. And uh, what about the salary? For example, this one position, if the, mm -hmm. the cost from the finance is, dip, uh, is uh, fixed, uh, let's tell uh, 1000 euro. Okay. And uh, 1,000 euro is the maximum uh, salary that is uh, dedicated for this uh, position, okay? Right, yeah. Uh, in the first day of recruitment, the first day of the, the job, uh, 
uh, the, the, the staff have to be 1,000 euro the salary or th three months, uh, the th uh, three first months is uh, 700 or 800 and after three months, 1,000. What do you suggest? Um, I would suggest, uh, there's a couple things. So, um, you know, it, the, in, the, in the States, we do, uh, if you were to do something like that, it would be called like a trial period where a lot of times what they'll do is they say, hey, for the first three months, in the States, what they do is they actually pay you the regular salary, but you might not have, um, you know, the full benefits yet, right? Or you might be a contractor, so you're, you're not necessarily on staff yet. Um, but no, no, uh, tip... No, no, oh, no the no, contract no, yeah. is okay. Just the yeah. amount of the salary, yeah. Yeah, sorry. yeah, yeah. So, so if typically what you want to do is when you hire someone, you want mm -hmm. to hire them, at least this is what we do in the States. Uh, you know, I know... You know, in different places it might be different, but whatever the job pays the full amount, like, so let's say it's, uh, like you said, it's 1,000 euros a month, let's say just for sake of argument. Mm -hmm. And you, what you should do to entice the talent is start at 1,000, but, and, and keep it there for a year at least, right? If you start at 700, some people, I, I'll give you an example. You, me and you have a company, right? Mm -hmm. I am saying I'm going to do a three month probation period, meaning in the first three months, if things don't work out, then we can make arrangements to separate. Right. Hmm. Um, and you, you're doing one where you're saying for the first three months is 700. Then we, if you work out, we do a thousand. Yeah. If we're competing for the same person who's really good, they're probably going to take my job. Hmm. Right. Cause they're getting paid more money early. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Like they don't have to prove themselves or anything like that. So if it if it's competitive and, and you're competing, it's like a um, high competitive market. You might be able to do that. If it's not a competitive market, there are a lot of people who can do it. Then that then that system would make sense. So it also depends on the just like the supply of who's available. Uh, for mm -hmm. for for instance, like a like a VP level job that might not work, which is why in the states a lot of times uh, you know they get sign on bonus. So just mm -hmm. for signing their name they get paid to start because sometimes that is the difference between them going somewhere else or going with you. But if it's uh, if it's more like a high supply job, you know, that's when the, the rate starts to go down and there's a lot less flexibility for the, um, for the worker. So you suggest that 1000, that this is good. Yeah. In I, the suggest, beginning. I, would, I would, yeah. I mean, it's, it's a drag financially. I get it, but I would suggest mm -hmm. 1000 because, the cost of not having the person doing the job sometimes is higher than what you're trying to save, right? Yeah. If, if it's a very important position and you're having problems filling it, it's, yeah. it makes more sense to pay the person what they should be making the whole time as opposed to, you know, waiting and waiting and waiting. So like, yeah, yeah. just, yeah. Okay, good. And uh, what about KPI? Do you practice uh, KPIs? KPI? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, so, yeah, so, so those are important. You want to make sure that people are hitting their numbers that, 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 you know, you can kind of track it because eventually that's how you track progress. Um, the saying goes that which gets measured gets, uh, improved. Right. So you want to be able to measure and say like, okay, so if, if again, we'll go back to a salesperson, how many meetings are you getting a week? How many phone calls are you making? Mm. Are you getting the, yeah, you're right. Like, and so you want to be able to, to to track that and let people know this is what the expectation is, this is where this is where you are exceeding, this is where you're not exceeding, this is what we'd like to see because you want to get them to be as optimal as possible, especially if it's something like a sales job where the more sales they make, the more money they make, right? Because sales jobs that's where a lot of the money motivated people kind of end up. So this is good. Keep your eyes. This is good. Yeah, very good. Very yeah, good. very good. Uh... Big KPIs are based on results or in activity to do the result. Um, so the way it, for for different people it's different. I always base the KPI on um, on the activity, and the reason being is this: if if somebody says, "I'll just say I'm, I'm a sales like again, I have a salesperson." Yeah. One salesperson goes on ten meetings and gets five sales every week, right? Which for my company is good. Another mm -hmm. one goes on 12 meetings and gets two sales every week, <laughs> which for my company is bad. What I can, I, I see the effort. Again, the effort is there. So mm -hmm. now I can work with that person and say, okay, 
why are you only getting two, but the person going on 10 is only getting five, right? And then it can mm -hmm. be a teaching moment because the effort is there. So maybe yeah. it's just the messaging. It's a little, it might be a little thing. I get the person who's doing 10 to help them. I help them as well. I tell them to do something on their own to help themselves, right? So it's not just us babying them, right? They have to take responsibility and improve on their own. I'll mm -hmm. give them some things to improve. The high performers might give them something to improve. Now, all of a sudden, that person doing 12 is bringing me six sales a week, right? Because yeah. I've been able to uh -huh. them improve. Right. So a lot of times what will happen is companies will say, this person is doing 10 uh, meetings, making five sales. They're doing 12, making only two, but it's only two. Get rid of them, <laughs> right? And let me hire someone else and cross my fingers and hope that they're good. <laughs> I have someone doing the activity. So let me improve their activity so that they bring what? Value. Because they bring value to their customers. Their customers then pay them. They get more money. I get more money. So again, there, there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool. That's, yeah. that's very cool. Uh, okay. Yay. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Mugidi, uh, uh, we don't have any more time because... <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah I have a one o'clock. So like uh, if it's possible, maybe one month or two months uh, later, yeah. uh, if you are free, because we have a lot of uh, questions from uh, inbox and from <laughs> yeah. this and uh, uh yeah and you, you already you already know i'm here uh, i'm open uh, you know i like uh, i like talking and conversing and going yeah. over different things and you know i like i yeah. like that you know on some of the questions you challenge me that's good uh, uh -huh. makes a good conversation so I, I i hope everyone who watched enjoyed it yeah yeah we'll do on youtube and uh, thank you thank you thank you thank you really thank you it was a uh, very useful information no problem man yeah hit me up hit me up hit me up anytime yeah yeah <laughs> you are so so nice so cool uh, so right. uh, have a good day have a good day and goodbye <laughs> see you right, man. see you all right take care <laughs> bye bye right. bye bye <laughs>